in a nutshell, from an insurance point of view, two facilities, even in the same medical group, can be in and out network. For example, you can visit a doctor in a facility, then having another consultation in another building, even in the same medical group, and end up to have insurance telling you, oh, we're not covering because the second visit was out of network. So I would highly recommend to check from the start if both your doctor and the facility are in network to prevent bad surprises on your bills. More tips to come through the video, so stick with us. Clear and loud warning about this video. I'm just sharing my experience. By any means, this video should not influence your health decisions. Just because I'm not a health specialist, neither an insurance specialist. I'm just a regular individual with a tons of question marks around my head when it comes to understanding the American health system. If you can relate to it, enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Margot and I'm French. Eight years ago, I had a dream to come to New York and I did it. It changed me and taught me a lot, as you can guess. So if you are interested in cross-culture or living abroad stories, stick with us. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button so you are not missing any future content. Eight years after arriving in America, I'm still learning about the half administrative topic. And recently, again, some experiences didn't seem to make sense to my European mind. I'm sharing these experiences to prevent some frustration to my non-American friends and to share to my American friends that other systems exist. Let me know in the comment section below, American or non-American, if my experiences raise your eyebrows too. First, as I mentioned, I cautiously picked a doctor that was in network on my portal insurance. And I visited him exactly at the address that was mentioned on the website. Guess what? I still received the billing that the consultation was out of network. An assistant had entered the second facility in my files and I had to prove that I went to the first one. Until this day, it still confuses me highly that two facilities of the same medical group can be in and out network. Another misadventure I had recently is that an assistant filled the document with the patient entrance address instead of the postal address of the building. So even though it was literally the same building, the insurance refused to cover the charges and I had to dispute the claim. Last but not least, I received the details of my billing through my insurance website. And I don't know if it's common to all insurances, but there is a possibility that I could pay what I owe directly through my insurance website instead of paying it to the hospital. That's what I did. But just right after or shortly after, the hospital sent me a bill with almost the same amount for the same visit. The amount was not exactly similar, so I had to go to a refund by the third party and then to send the actual amount to the hospital. But long story short, it's really annoying me that to think that if I would have been distracted, I could have easily paid this bill twice. Do you have similar experiences that brought to you, as it brought to me, some confusion, a sense of loss of time and energy? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the bell button. In the next episode, let's talk about hygiene concepts, America versus France. And please, let's debunk some cliches together. Stay tuned, à bientôt, see you soon. Mwah!